Here we go, folks. The budget battle is on. This mountain of paper that is delivered to Congress just a short time ago, a $3.73 trillion proposal. That is the flashpoint that is surfacing between lawmakers. That's how we start a brand new hour of America's Newsroom. It's happening right now. The budget that President Obama is presenting to Congress is now out there. I'm Martha McCallum. Good to have you with us this morning. And I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. If you're having trouble falling asleep at night, you can pick <laughs> up a copy of that, and then you'll be out like a light. Yeah, it'd be like anesthesia. Right on. Seriously, national debt closing in on $14 trillion. House Speaker John Boehner says this has got to be the end of the line. We're broke. What's really dangerous is if we continue to do nothing and allow the status quo to stay in place. When are we going to get serious about cutting spending? Uh, and our members uh, uh, want to, to take this leap forward because it has to happen and it needs to start now. Strong words from John Boehner. Now joining me is Congressman Scott Garrett, the New Jersey Republican who received that towering stack of paper. He is the vice chairman of the House Budget Committee and the chairman of the Republican Study Committee as well. They put forth their own uh, budget ideas. They're a spending task force. Uh, Congressman Garrett, welcome. Good morning to you. Good to have you here. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you to you, to you, well. to you too. You know, so you, so you just received that big fat budget. I, I know a lot of the details of it have been circulating already. What do you think? Right. Well, when you talk about Valentine's Day, it's not the sort of card you want to get from somebody who says, I've grown bigger, fatter, and at the end of the night, you're going to have to pay the bill, which is exactly <laughs> what uh, this, this package to us was. It's a bigger government, $3.8 billion a trillion dollars bigger um, spending this year. It's uh, putting us greater in debt than ever before, and it is this unsustainable uh, course that we're going forward that we just can't keep going this direction. You know, so, so basically, the way I look at it, you've got sort of three plans that have been floated out there. Uh, the Deficit Commission came out with $4 trillion in cuts over 10 years. Your folks at the Republican Study Committee came out with $2.5 trillion in cuts right. over 10 years. And the president yeah. is proposing $1.1 trillion in cuts. Uh, you know, how, how should people, you know, how should we compare all of those? It is hard to compare at all. Just knowing this, that the budget that he's given us really just kicks the uh, the problem down the road, just like everything else he's done so far since he's come into office. You know, the, the deficit, the growth of government has really doubled in the uh, years since he's been in the office. It'll be triple by the time this budget is done. So the American public has got to realize that what he has given us really doesn't solve the problem, doesn't bring us anywhere towards the balance, does it in a, does a budget that you know you and I and our businesses or homes could never sustain, just saying spending more money than we're taking in, not reining in spending. One of the ways you can look at it is this, 20, over 25 percent of everything that the country produces, the GDP, gross domestic product, will now be sucked in here right. into Washington as opposed to going to you and me. You, you know, the, I, I think a lot of people look at all these plans and you wonder a couple yeah. things. Number one, why, right. you know, the president created the Debt Commission. They came out with a lot of serious yeah. things. I mean, they talked about That's actually cutting Social Security by raising the age at which people would be eligible. That's not in the Republican Study Committee's plan, uh, and it's not in the President's plan. And I think the American people, you know, just, just based on a lot of the stuff that we get here, you know, they know that you can't get serious about cutting all of this until you start to look at Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security. So why isn't it in your plan either? Yeah, that's, that's an interesting thing, that the American public really does get it. The American public does understand that we can't go on this, on this course. Now, our plan was initial throwing out of just idea in the discretionary side, in essence, in some of the entitlements. We looked at um, saying that we need to rein in the spending here on uh, discretionary principally. So you had the number right, around $2.5 trillion. We froze some of the numbers out for a 10-year period of time. That was just a start. We agree with you, with the American public, that you have to look at the entitlements as well. Unfortunately, you are right. There's nothing in the president's plan whatsoever that does that. So when is that going to happen? When, when is that going to happen? Well, from this administration, it looks like never, because as you're right again that uh, the, his own commission, you know, he sort of kicked the can down the road by setting up a commission. Yeah. Fine. Let's then take those proposals and start dealing with them. I'm more than happy to start looking at that. And the Budget Committee, as we roll out this week, will be looking at all those proposals to say, how can we live within our means? Yeah. Well, I, you know, it's going to be interesting. I think there's very little patience out there for people who aren't willing to, you know, you know, take this on. And it feels like kind of a chicken and egg game going on in Washington. Everybody's waiting for the other side to go first. Well, actually, well, in some extent, you know, it's a president who always, since the early part of the last century, gives us a budget to work off of. But we, as you correctly pointed out, in the RSC, Republican Study Committee, 
did really go first by saying here's 2.5 trillion dollars of proposals of cutting over yeah. 10 years. So we were out in front on that and we'll continue to lead. We led on the CR as well saying here's a hundred billion dollars. We gave even more ideas on that on cutting this year's uh, expenditures. The president right. was refused to discuss there. So we're out in front of this and we just need to keep pushing. All right, Congressman Garrett, thank you. Uh, worth pointing thank out that Erskine Bowles, a Democrat who headed that debt commission, uh, says that this is, that this is a nightmare, uh, this unfolding, not going anywhere quickly uh, with the proposals that are so far on the table. So you, you let us know how you feel about it at home. You can send me a Twitter at Martha McCallum uh, and what you think should be cut.